Okay, now I just want to say uh, a few words in another short video um, about human beings and the vastness of space, the hugeness of the universe, and the two different responses to this vastness that we find in the Western Occidental tradition, as it's called, and uh, amongst Muslims, typically. And I just want to read a brief passage from this wonderful book, Islam and the Destiny of Man. When I, when I read this book as a Christian, by the time I had finished it, I had become a Muslim, at least in my heart, if not in my, I hadn't actually said a creed at that point. A uh, hugely uh, powerful book, beautifully written, probably the most beautiful book in English uh, on Islam, I think. But uh, I just want to read a, um, a few paragraphs from this about the immensity of space. Um, and Guy Eaton um, says the following, among the countless comedies of misunderstanding which, are, which can arise between men of two of different cultures, none is more frustrating than the situation in which two people say the same thing in almost the same words and mean quite different things by what they say. The Occidental, by which he means the Westerner, the typical Westerner, looking up at the night sky and reflecting on astronomical space will confess sometimes with a shiver how insignificant he feels in the midst of such distances. The Muslim readily acknowledges his insignificance before God, la ilaha illallah, but he never feels alone in an alien universe. The Muslim will also say that the natural world was created for man. The Westerner agrees with enthusiasm and proceeds to tear up the earth with his bulldozers. The Muslim does not feel dwarfed by the immensities of nature because he knows himself to be the vice regent of God standing upright in the midst of these immensities. We, those small in stature, see the stars. They do not see us. We behold, we hold them within our consciousness and measure them in accordance with our knowledge. They know us not. We master them in their courses. Immensity cannot know itself. Only in human consciousness can such a concept exist. In this sense, man is the eye of God and is therefore the measure of all things. And they, far from being alien and therefore menacing, have existence within our awareness of them and are therefore like extensions of our being. I think that's a beautiful, almost poetic summary of a different kind of the different perceptions, the different ethos that infuses uh, different perceptions of our stature within the immensity of this universe. I think it's just beautifully put.